Complete Personal Fit. Welcome to our body shape routine today. And we have Logan that's gonna run through our workout today. Uh, that's gonna be great. Uh, this routine, this is a portable routine, guys, and this is great. If, especially if you're on the road, uh, either for business or, or vacation, uh, and if you wanna do a workout outside, you don't need any equipment at all. Uh, just a great workout. And of course, you can do this at home too. But we're trying to cater this to where you just use your body weight and still get a great workout. And the excellent thing about this is really, Almost like anything, you get out of this what you put into it. This can be a very easy workout. You can pace yourself, go through these exercises. If you want more intensity, man, simply up your reps and decrease your rest. And this workout all of a sudden becomes very, very challenging. So just basic exercises, there's nothing too fancy in here, but it's a wide variety of movements. And really the only thing you'll need for today's routine is you're gonna need, wherever you're at, you'll need like uh, some type of doorway, post, uh, and then also if you're by a post, you may want a wall, although you can do these, we're gonna do some wall tricep extensions, you could use a post for that. So if you're outside, maybe there's a building there or something you could use, even a tree, you can use for your rows and for your triceps. So let me throw the first circuit, uh, well the first circuit, I'll throw the whole circuit up there. Guys, we're gonna run through this whole circuit. Again, only rest what you need to, and I know that everyone's fitness level is a little different. So um, just rest what you need to get to the next exercise, and we'll try to get through this relatively quickly, all right? We're going to start with a, a plank toe reach. So listen, if you're outside, you may want to have a towel with you or something that you can, you can lay down. So I know some people work out on like tennis courts and little basketball courts. So if it's warm out, you may want a towel to put down, or if you're in the grass also. So I, would, I guess that would be the other thing. So uh, do you want a towel down here, Logan? Do you want a mat or anything? Uh, I think I'm okay. Okay. You're good? Yeah. Okay. So guys, we're gonna start out with a plank toe reach. I'm just gonna kind of guide us through these exercises and Logan is gonna do the performance side of this. So he's actually gonna go through these exercises so you have a, a, a better understanding of what it's gonna look like when you go through these, all right? This first one is a plank toe reach. So we're gonna do a push-up position and you're gonna reach, the hips go up, trying to tighten the core as you reach the opposite toe with the hand. If you can't touch a toe, it's no big deal, just reach toward it. Okay, get as much range as you can. All right, all right. You ready to yeah. Guys, we're gonna go for maybe around 10 each way, okay? And again, I know everyone's fitness level is a little different, so uh, that number can, can vary a little bit here. All right, so Logan's gonna get up and he's perfect. Guys, if you look at this, a nice plank, he's nice and flat. Now, as he reaches, the hips are gonna come up, okay? He's gonna try to tighten the core, and you kinda get those rotary muscles of the obliques. Excellent, and then we'll straighten out, perfect. Couple things, while, and Logan, keep going. Couple things while we're doing this, guys. Try not to sag the lower back. When you sag the lower back, those vertebrae kind of come together and it almost like hyperextends and you don't want to strain the back while you're trying to strengthen your core, okay? So try to stay flat on that and try to squeeze the core as you're reaching across the body. And the cool thing about this is your core is even engaged and you, you may not feel it, but even when you're just holding that plank. So when load comes back and resets in that plank, the core is already tight enough, right? Nice job, Logan. Excellent. Hey, the next one's right there on the floor too, Logan. So uh, don't need to get up. Guys, this next one, we're just gonna do a lemon squeeze. Okay, so we kind of had this rotational motion going with the first exercise. Now we're going along the midline of the body. So we're gonna do a crunch knee tuck and now penciled in about 20 reps. So that's a pretty good number to, to shoot for, okay? So a, a couple things on this one, guys. Don't pull your head, okay? Hands are behind the head, but you're letting the core do the work. Also, um, your legs. There's no need to get your legs all the way out or get them real close to the floor on this one. Uh, I, I know that some videos have people going this huge range of motion, which is, which is great, range of motion is great but it can also really hamper your back. If you have any pre-existing conditions, and if you have a healthy back, that can be a little strenuous on, on the lower back. So we're gonna confine this range of motion a little bit with the legs, okay? So Logan, we'll, we'll come up, and we're gonna have the legs, good, about parallel to the floor here, guys, and all Logan's gonna do is, as he crunches, he's gonna slide those knees in, and then he's gonna come back. Now, a little trick with this, and guys, if you see, as he comes out, we're looking out to here, so it's not a full extension, trying to keep it kind of a close range for your back, other trick is, guys, when you're doing this, if you can get your hips to come off the floor slightly so you kind of feel that, almost like that reverse crunch while you're crunching, guys, that will really pull 
you'll feel that in the lower abs big time. So if you're able to do that, do it. And if you can't, no big deal. Just go for these lemon squeezes, all right? Excellent, man. Yeah. Feel that? Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Nice. It looked like you're his hips a little bit, too. Did you, did you feel the difference when you said, oh, yeah. oh, man. All right, hey, guys, listen, that got the core warmed up, and it, and it does a, it does a good job of kind of increasing that blood flow a little bit. So we're kind of kind of getting out the juices flowing here. So this next one, you, you may want to stand next to something stable, okay? Whether it's a tree outside or a building, if you're at home, maybe it's a wall or doorway. Uh, maybe a sturdy chair. We're gonna do a, a, a back lunge, okay? And then we're gonna come up, we come, we're gonna try to float that leg, and then we're gonna reach to the, the toe, okay? So a lunge, toe touch, guys, this is such a great exercise. Uh, I've got 12 reps listed, and uh, again, may, maybe tens where you kind of hit the wall. That's fine. This is just a number, it's trying to try to make you work a little bit, all right? So we're always trying to challenge you a little bit. So Logan, are you ready for these? Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. A back lunge, float the leg, and then we're gonna reach. And guys, obviously you can touch anytime you need to, but the idea is to try to float that leg from the lunge to the toe touch, then you can lightly touch back to the lunge, all right? All right, Logan, here we go. We'll get a back lunge, perfect form, and we do the toe reach, excellent. This is great, guys. If you watch Logan's form, it is great. He's trying to maintain about a 90 grain with the front leg. He's not pushing off the back. Everything is loaded on that front leg. So in this case, Logan's left leg is doing all the work. Even though the right one's traveling around. The left one is working. Nice job. Nice job, Logan. There you go. Yeah, that's fine to touch after that. After that toe touch, man. Whoo! Start to get the get the glutes a little bit, yeah. too? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it definitely gets that posterior chain. <clears throat> nice work, man. Good job, good job. Hey guys, Logan makes it look pretty easy. Um, it can be challenging the first few times you do it. So, uh, you know, again, um, you may want something sturdy. You can just reach out to kind of lightly catch your balance with. Okay, we're gonna try not to use it the whole time if you can help it. Hey, nice job. We'll shake them up for just a second. Hey guys, strategically, what we've done here, when you do body weight, sometimes you need to pre-exhaust the body part. So um, what we did with this routine is we do these lunge toe touches to get the legs pre-exhausted. Now we're gonna do some squats, okay? Because this is, again, just body weight. And we are also going to add just a slight little pulse at the bottom. So it's almost like there's a pause. So you're gonna squat down the bottom, then just a little pulse, and then come up. The other trick is if you don't come up all the way, you're gonna keep tension on those muscles. So uh, we have 15 reps, so we're gonna try our best not to come all the way up until you absolutely have to. When you come all the way up, all of a sudden those muscles relax for a second. So we'll try to keep tension on there as long as we can. If you can do all 15, great. If you only get five, that's fine. But we'll get 15 reps of this. All right, Logan, you ready for these? Yeah. Guys, so we're gonna get, let's get a nice athletic stance. So we're shoulder width, maybe even slightly wider than shoulder width. So we are nice and stable, all right? And now the trick with this that I find, guys, Hips are gonna go back, so if you bring your arms forward, that helps kind of balance out the body a little bit, okay? So Logan, when you're ready, we'll get about 15 of these, all right? Oh, wait. That's okay, pulse. just a little pulse. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. A little pulse and we're up, perfect. And we'll go, man, that is great, Logan. So guys, Logan is just coming up part of the way, which is great, it's really keeping tension on those legs. And again, at any time when you need to, you can come all the way up just to get a slight break and then get back to those squats, all right? Nice job. While you're doing these guys, think flat-footed. We're gonna try to stay flat if you can and push those feet through the ground 
as you come up. And that will, again, help just engage those muscles. Oh, those look great, man. Great job. Nice job. All right. So, guys, good news. Legs done for the first round. All right, legs are tough. Hey, guys, this next one is a shoulder tap push-up. Okay, just all we're doing is putting a little spin on the push-up. You've probably done these before. Uh, you can go from your knees with this, okay? Also, if you're at home, you may want a chair or bench, okay, or a hotel room. You can use a chair. If you're outside, guys, maybe there's a park bench or there's a little ledge, a landscaping, a, a short landscaping wall, something that you can get some elevation on if you have a difficult time with the floor, okay? Um, Logan, we'll get maybe 10 total push-ups. Right. So guys, again, that's just kind of a kind of a number to make you work a little bit. You maybe you go, maybe you go 12 or something like that, or maybe you're at eight. And we're just gonna hit one side, guys. We'll do a push-up, hit one side, push-up other side. So we're going even numbers on these push-ups. Nice job. And guys, I like Logan's elbow position too here. If you look at him doing these push-ups. The elbows, some people flare the elbows really out wide. And if you're used to that, it's okay, but if you bring them in a little bit, I think you'll be able to put a little more pressure on the, on, on the pecs and less stress on the shoulders. And that's what we're trying to do is really get that, a lot of pec uh, involvement with this, okay? Really nice job, nice job. Um, guys, the next exercise, and listen, other than pull-ups, doing your back with your body weight is pretty challenging. Okay, so there's pull-ups, right? If you can find a bar, chairs, you can do a, like, a, like a modified row with your body weight. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're looking around our hotel room or maybe outside, and we're gonna go to our doorway. You probably don't have a post if you're in a hotel room, but you could use a post also, that's what we're gonna use. And we're gonna do a row, okay? Guys, your form on here is important. You're thinking about your elbow driving back. Also, I see people where they kind of hold the door and they're kind of pulling like that. Guys, square yourself up to whatever that doorway is, okay? It doesn't matter where you go in that, that, that molding, so you may have to go a slight angle, but you're kind of inside the door frame, and you're gonna grab, and you, again, you can angle a little bit. As you move your feet forward, it's a little harder, but always maintain that squareness to your pulling surface, okay? So you don't wanna angle the body, and you're driving the elbow behind you, okay? Really engaging the lats here, okay? Around 15. <clears throat> Great job. Nice, Logan, that is it. So guys, Logan is trying to think about his elbow doing the work here. He's driving the elbow behind him. That's gonna crunch that lat in the back. So this one takes a little thought process as you're going through, okay? The other thing, if you look where Logan's holding this one, he pulls himself in, that arm is about parallel to the floor. He's pulling into just above the hip, which is a great spot to engage that lat. Nice job. Good job, man. good job. And guys, this one is funny because if you don't really focus on what you're trying to do, it can seem sort of easy, but once you get dialed in, I, I, I really think you feel it. Nice work. Hey, great job. Remember, guys, every rep, it's driving the elbow back, driving the elbow back. Love it, awesome. Guys, while you're there, okay, uh, a wall is preferable with this. We're going to do a, a tricep extension. So, uh, like a skull crusher, guys, but you're standing instead of laying back on a bench, okay? So, great exercise for the triceps, and it's excellent because all you need is your body weight for this one, okay? We used to post again. I know we used that in the past. Uh, yeah, I think okay. that's right. Okay. So, guys, what we're going to do with this one, and this one is similar to, um, similar to the rows. You can adjust your feet for tension. So, if you ever done like a suspension trainer, same thing here. Now, this is the opposite. As you back up, now 
it gets harder, okay? Because you're getting further away from that point. So what we're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna put your hands on the wall, you're gonna adjust your feet, and then we're gonna come forward and back. So guys, maybe start with, maybe we're gonna start about maybe two feet away from there, if that feels too easy, just take a little step back and you can kind of fine tune and get the resistance that you need, all right? So Logan is going to really try to fire up his triceps. So guys, we're basically going to come towards the wall, keep the body nice and flat. So your body is kind of like a plank. He's pushing back, good, if you watch Logan's body, if, if you hinge from the hips, you're, you're gonna kind of lose it a little bit. So it's all you're pushing your whole body back and the whole body comes forward, okay? Nice job, Logan. And the hands, guys, when you come into this bar, the hands will probably be just slightly above the head. So that's gonna vary based on how far back your feet are, but, but you can tweak that slightly just to make sure you minimize shoulder involvement, maximize the back of the arm. Great job, Logan. And the neat thing with that body position too, guys, similar to a TRX, let's say, is when, you, when you're doing that, guys, your core's engaged again. So you're kind of hitting that core again with that type of exercise, all right? So, hey, that was that was one circuit through. So Logan, one more to go. All right? All right? So guys, quick drink. And Logan, I think that was a, a pretty good pace, man. Kind of going through here one after another. So guys, we'll try to do the same thing on this next round. And guys, the great thing is, <laughs> Only two sets, so as you get one exercise done, man, that's done for the day, all right? So we're gonna start with that plank toe reach when you're ready, Logan, all right? How's the body feeling, man? Pretty good. Good, good. So guys, again, a towel. If you have a mat, you can use a mat too. So Logan, again, is hitting that plank between each reach, nice and flat, coming across, reaching toward the toe. How many am I doing? <laughs> around, around 10, Logan. And if, if those feet are sliding, Logan, you can put your feet on the carpet, oh, hands okay. on the mat, so just yeah. back up a hair, and, that, and maybe that'll, that'll, that, that might help you. squeeze guys so we're gonna do a knee tuck and a crunch remember the trick with the hip if you get those hips to come up just a little bit you'll really <laughs> really actively involve those lower abs and you'll, it really makes it work a lot harder just with that little tweak but again not every fitness level can do that you know if, you're, if you can't quite do that gosh just this motion alone is great the knee tuck and the crunch Good. <laughs> nice job. 
Nice job, guys. Ooh. So a little bit went to a lot of failure there, which was great. Yeah. So <laughs> really making the, those core muscles really highly engaged, and that's what we're trying to do. All right. <clears throat> Okay, this next one, we are back to our lunge toe reach. We're going for around 12, okay? All right? Yeah. Nice job, though. Those look great. Yep. Great job. Woo. Woo. Nice work. Nice work. Okay. So that worked the legs independently of each other. So the next one, we got the squat pulse looking. Yeah. And you should just, just pace yourself in this workout. Take the rest when you need it. All right. A little pulse to the bottom. We'll go for 15. It's, guys, if you try those, it's amazing what just body weight, how it can feel. It can feel like you have just a house on your shoulders, you know? Just really get a good pump in those legs, a nice burn, all right? Um, next one, so take the rest that you need. We're hitting the floor or possibly a chair or bench, guys. We've got shoulder tap push-ups next, so really try to engage your upper body a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, oh, you're sorry. getting close.
guys, we're gonna find your wall doorway. We're finishing right here, Logan. We got rows and triceps, all right? So guys, again, catch your breath, take the break that you need, and then get started. So our next one are just the pulls, which I think are really important with a lot of these pushes we've done. Pull straight except when you're sweating. I know yeah. it's a little slick. Shake my no, I know you're a little tired, man. Yeah. Hey, we're to our last exercise. So we have our, our tricep extensions. So we're really gonna focus on the back of the upper arm. All right, and as I mentioned in the first round, highly core engaged too. Okay, so that core is really gonna help stabilize that body. Keep your body as, as flat as you can. And I realize if you're outside, maybe you don't have a good feel, but and you don't have any mirrors maybe where you're at, but just try to feel that body so you're not, you're not, you're not leaning forward and back. It's the whole body coming forward and back. Sit down. That was, that was excellent. Hey guys, that was just a great portable traveling workout you can take with you. You can do in your office, you can do poolside, you can do in your backyard, you can do it wherever you want. And it's really going to challenge the whole body. Uh, and again, man, just pace yourself. Maybe, maybe we went too fast. Guys, you can slow it down a little bit. And maybe we're too slow for you. So guys, hit fast forward as you go through here. But it's just giving you the skeleton, the outline, so you can, it's a no-brainer. Just plug this thing in and you've got a great total body workout. So Logan, I thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, guys, that was our workout for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness, bringing wellness to you.